Hey guys, it's me, and it's been forever. Now, I could go on and say a bunch of excuses about why I haven't been filming, but the simple answer is, in case you can't tell, new background, I moved, uh, like, completely out of town. I'm in a whole different area, whole different town, uh, same province, but different town. Uh, because I moved for college. Now I am pursuing my dreams and possibly my future career. Uh, I'm gonna talk about it all in this video, which is going to be my favorites video. I can't even say a month because these, it's just, it's been a while. So first things first, you might notice something different about me. I had a very compulsive act as of yesterday with some new friends that I made in my class uh, and I got my septum pierced. I've wanted my septum pierced since grade five. Uh, I don't even know how I got the idea of wanting my septum pierced in grade five, but somehow I did and I have wanted it done for forever, but yeah. I got my septum pierced, and I'm gonna like zoom in and stuff, show you it. Uh, if you don't like noses, I suggest you don't like. I'm flipping up my camera, that's why I'm like... So this is my septum, two days old. Um, not even two days old. I don't even think it's 24 hours old. No, it's, it's about 24 hours old. Um, so this is the jewelry they pierced me with. I think it's called a horseshoe. It's just a really simple one. Um, yeah, but I'm going to post a whole other video about it, I think. My septum piercing. Eee. So one of my big favorites this month is obviously moving because I am out of my regular household, out of uh, living underneath my family's roof, and I love my parents, but I, I'm, I love it. I love having to have my own responsibilities and doing things on my own. Like, it makes me so happy. Um, and yes, I have a roommate, but she's not here right now. Um, but this is my room, and I painted that wall with my mom. Uh, that took a lot of time. A lot of arguments. <laughs> but Another one of a massive favorite is my college. So I am attending Blanche McDonald. Uh, for their global makeup artistry program. So this is a, uh, I don't want to say like a makeup artistry school because it has like fashion and hair and nails and everything. Um, but I am just going for the one year course of global makeup artistry. Uh, and I am so excited. I started on July 27th and it is bliss. I love it. It is so exciting. Now I'll get into like the little favorites that are kind of like, you know, actual products and such. So the funny thing is, is that I don't have that many makeup products to show with you guys because since I was packing away my stuff, I haven't really been wearing any makeup. I'll start with the two brushes that I really started liking this month. Um, and this, these are both Royal and Lang Nickel brushes that I got from iMats. Uh, and this is a really fluffy shader brush that is amazing it's so good oh my gosh like for blending out your crease and stuff so nice it's dirty because i used it today and then this is a well it's a crease and smudger brush but i love it for this crease blending side it is fantastic at blending you have no idea it is oh my gosh <laughs> and i love their red handle because they just they stick out this is a while ago like before July, this was in March almost, but I just haven't talked about makeup products on this channel in forever. Uh, I went out and bought a MAC uh, fluid line? Yeah, a MAC fluid line. Uh, this was a limited edition one, so I'm really sorry, but I love this color so much. So this is Max fluid line in shade. Yeah, it's a super gorgeous dark forest green. Um, a little bit of this goes a long ways, and you can tell I've only used it a little bit um, because I simply haven't been wearing makeup a lot, but 
this is gorgeous and when I don't want a black eyeliner I reach for this guy so I'm just gonna keep you guys awkwardly close for a while because I'm gonna be showing you a few products and I don't want to have to keep zooming in and out um, this is a product I've had for a long time and I've showed it several times but I just recently dipped back into but it. The Urban Decay Electric Palette of course is a all-time favorite forever and always. I love everything to do with this palette. It is actually life. Oh! Apparently I don't want to share my life with you. But I love this palette so much you have no idea. It's so good. Just purchase it. This isn't limited edition. Just, you need it, you need it, okay. You can, you can go in and be like, uh, Dana told me to buy this palette, even though it's really expensive, but it's worth it, trust me. Every penny, I just, mm, I love this palette and I don't think I'll ever stop loving it. Are two of the lit glitters that I purchased. Uh, so Magic Dragon is like a greeny brown based gold shimmer with like silver in it it's super gorgeous and then superfly is a duochrome silver black kind of i just they're so beautiful if you want to see better photos of these uh i'll link my imats haul down below and i have like close-ups of these glitters in there but these are gorgeous i wore superfly on my grad day my grad makeup so i i hold this near and dear in my heart and then my final makeup product that I have loved since I bought it. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Just like everything to do with this product. It just gets me excited thinking about it. Uh, surprisingly enough, I'm not wearing it today, yet I've worn it like so many days. Uh, the only reason why I'm not wearing it is because I was out job, sh job hunting earlier today. So I feel like this might off-put some people. But the product I'm talking about is one of Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks from her new line. Uh, this is in the color Exorcism. Yeah, Exorcism. I never remember what's Exorcism or Exorcist. But it is... Oh, it's so opaque. It's so creamy. It goes on, doesn't come off. Eat, drink, kiss. Yes, I've been kissing. I, I'm in a relationship. Shh. Maybe you'll meet them. Who knows? So the tube is gorgeous. I just, I love everything to do with this product. I've wanted one of these for so long. I don't know why I'm just watching this. It's not gonna come off, but it's beautiful. Don't try. Please don't try. See, like these things stain. I had this on for like 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It's awesome. Not when you swatch it though. So I have a scent favorite this uh, month. And this is Nest's Fragrance in Midnight Fleur. Um, it's really yummy and I love the bottle. Yeah, I'm not gonna even try to explain this scent. Just sniff it. It's really nice. You get it at Sephora. Something that I stopped doing for a while that I am going to pick back up because I've been uh, more into it recently is my favorite book of the month. Uh, and my favorite book of the month, which uh, I feel like I'm super late reading because I feel like everyone read this in like middle school and I whatever. Uh, but this is Cassandra Clare's City of Bones. Um, I'm about halfway through it and it's a really good book. Oh my god, there's some really good plot twists in here and I can't wait to finish this. I know I'm out of practice making YouTube videos when my camera starts to overheat. I'm sorry. Is the Puka, Puka? I'm gonna say it's Puka. Serene Jasmine Green, Serene Jasmine Green Tea. Uh, this is the best nighttime tea. If I'm having a really anxious day or just like I've had a really rough day or I just I'm not feeling good, I make myself a cup of this. Honestly, there's some nights that I feel like this is the reason that I went from being at a 10 to being at like a 4. Um, Three favorites. I'm sorry. I'm really close to being done. These two I'm gonna bam off really quick. I got new glasses and uh, I got two new pairs. So, I'm gonna show them to you, right now. 
I hate wearing glasses on camera because you always get the reflection off because I usually film in natural light. These are uh, the first pair of glasses I got. They are a matte gray kind of color. Um, I think they look really nice when I do more kind of dramatic looks because I find they're not as harsh. Um, my old glasses were, well, here, I'll grab them. So my old glasses look like this. They're, it's really weird to see me in these glasses now. Like they just, they don't seem like they suit me anymore. Um, but I had these glasses six years, I think. Yeah, um, but these guys last me forever. You can see all my hair dye stains on the sides. I think that these suit me better now. I think that they definitely complement my personality a lot better. These are my second pair. Ooh, these are a little bit dirty because I didn't wear these today. But these ones are a kind of like, they're not like shiny, but they're not matte, uh, black, frame so when I look at you straight on they're black but then they have like light blue arms on the side these ones are kind of the ones I wear when I don't have any makeup on because I find that the black makes my eyes look better where the gray can kind of wash me out if I have nothing on um, but I like these guys a lot too and the blues are really cute touch I think and then my final favorite is an event that I went to and that is I went to the Rush concert with my dad and my boyfriend and it was a blast. Um, I was raised on Rush um, and so it was really cool to listen to them live and see them and um, I have some emotional connections to Rush, so seeing them live was amazing, and uh, I've wanted to see them since I was really little, I guess, and uh, it's really great because my boyfriend, he plays the drums, and Neil Peart is like a big influence on him. So there's, at one point he had a drum solo, and I looked over at him, and he was just like, in complete bliss and it was probably one of the best things I could have ever seen. It was really funny. I loved it. Um, but that was a really good show. So those are my favorites for July and August or some of them. I mean, I've obviously left out things like the new Jurassic World movie that I saw, the new one. It's really good, but I don't want to talk about it anymore because I have other things I have to do. Um, and just, yeah, it. I just know I'm really busy because I'm starting a new college, I'm trying to make new friends, which is really difficult for me to do. I'm gonna stop talking now, but I have pre-recorded videos that I'm gonna be putting up soon. So that's kind of why I probably won't have this in and my hair won't be blue. Um, this was also a really impulse thing. I've, it's really faded now, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going, so hope you guys had a really awesome last month and I hope you guys had a good time since the last time I've uploaded because I don't even know how long that's been. But till I upload again, I'm over and out. I'm so not used to seeing this in my face, so whenever I look in the viewfinder, I'm like, what is going on? My parents don't know that I did this and they're gonna be really upset, but expect a video about it, so yay! My ongoing joke right now is I can smell everything better now that I have an extra hole in my nose. <laughs> Look at how cute it is. I've wanted this pierced for so long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>